Does your government have any plans to repatriate your nationals from Northeast Syria? If so, what is your timetable? And the final question, which I didn't remember before, which is what is your government's position regarding the proposed civil contract presented by family members of detainees in November 2020? Some of the family members here have um, proposed a three-way agreement uh, that would engage family members and the government in facilitating reintegration. Um, so those were the, the questions we before we take some more questions in house, I just want to address some online questions. Um, Susan Suan, rather, we Yao of ACP News asks, how much will it cost the state to bring home the nationals either individually or collectively? I don't know the answer, but I can't imagine it costs any more than keeping these nationals. I mean, all of the trainees can fit into one plane, and the U.S. military has repeatedly offered to extract the trainees and bring them home. And from Guardian Media, we have Joshua Surtees, and he asks, and does the Trinidad and Tobago government not consider the repatriation and the reintegration of the two Trini boys from Syria by non-government in January 2019 as an example of how repatriation can be successfully carried out. Well, I think as Linda pointed out earlier, there were a handful of Trinis that uh, came back between, I think, 2015 and 2019. We don't have a lot of information about how they're doing in you know, Trinity society now, but as Leta pointed out, we're not aware of any problems that have arisen as a result of them being brought home. We take one from Paul and then I'll go back to online. Can I just say government? Of course, the authorities here did assist uh, in, 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 in ensuring that they could come home and that is laudable. Um, I don't think that the repatriations of the Trinis currently in Northeast Syria would be any more complicated than that, given that the U.S. stands ready. And since, that, since those repatriations in 2019, thousands of nationals have been repatriated to uh, more than three dozen countries. We are talking about 6,600 nationals who have been repatriated to countries around the world. And that's why we think that Trinidad and Tobago can manage to bring home 90, particularly if there is a plane uh, available to take them out. 